Hello, my name is Gerbstown, and welcome to a tutorial on how to sparrow head bonk, or sparrow bonk, or whatever I'm going to call it. So, this technique was uh, shed to me by JB3 while we were doing the exploration out in the Last Wish on um, patrol stuff, and uh, I thought it would be a really good way to do it so that we wouldn't have to have a hunter try to uh, res breach or something in the raid. But then of course, the hunter technique was n like no longer needed. So this wasn't really like necessary, but I still like included it in that tutorial because I thought that it was pretty cool. And it might be easier for someone to pull off uh, if you're trying to get your friend out if they can't spare a breach, so. Yeah, so basically, um, hang on, let me, let me demonstrate the bonk here. I'll show it in more detail in my amazing presentation that I've made for us today. So, die, and wow, would you look at that? My ghost is under the ground, and it's also upside down, which is why I picked this one out today instead of my usual moon ghost. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to show you how to do, um, and yeah, honestly, if you could, if you could just see it from there, that's all you really need to see, so if you just want the quick and dirty, that's it, but keep watching and I'll show you some of the things that we learned about sort of the nitty gritties of what it requires to actually be able to res underneath there, so let's get on with the video but first thank you for 300 subscribers that's a lot of people and uh, yeah I'm not sure whether or not I'll uh, record a proper outro so you know consider this a 300 sub special why not alright on with the presentation <laughs> alright welcome to Sparrow Bonking 101 so I've prepared an animation here that'll show you how to do it so <laughs> Get ready for some amazingness right here. So, you flip yourself over, bonk on the spot, then get off and jump off the map. Then you res is underneath, and then you get res by your friend. It's pretty great, honestly. Uh, yep. <laughs> I definitely didn't spend an hour of my life doing that animation. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the three conditions of the... Uh, or the three conditions that need to be met to actually res once you've put your ghost under the map. So, our first one here is being in a private instance. Weird as it sounds, for some reason the game... Okay, I don't know what that was. Anyways, <laughs> the for some reason the game's, like, respawn algorithm or something, uh, it doesn't like public instances with this like it won't spawn you under if you're in a public instance so instead uh if you're trying to get into a place uh try to find a way to get into it in a private instance for example when we were actually doing the testing we were under the area that's even tied but we were successfully getting breaches in the raid instead so next thing here is the head and feet space that means um essentially you need like a spacing of approximately one player above and below your where the res like where the ghost is for the game to actually allow you to spawn there. That's another thing that just makes it so that your spawn isn't invalidated down there. And finally, you obviously need somebody already under the area. So, I mean, it's sort of for situations like uh like the last wish from patrol where that uh sparrow breach is very hard and so if you've got multiple people that want to be under you only need one person to actually do the res breach and then they can breach everybody else through using the spare bonk so um here is a good picture of what somebody's ghost looks like while they're under um you can't really see it with henry's ghost shell here but uh you see that his name and sort of icon is under underneath the ghost instead of above. And that means that his ghost is upside down, like you saw at the beginning of the video. So, first off, we're in Deep Stone. I really wanted to get a picture of it where it actually showed, like, the Deep Stone crypt whatever thing up there, but I couldn't find a good 
like example of that so we're just gonna pretend that's there uh next thing is that even though that it doesn't look at it because like there's a slope uh there is enough space between here like between him and the roof and then there's actually like nothing underneath him in this case which is another cool thing we thought we needed ground underneath you to uh like actually spawn underneath but that is not actually true at least not in d2 that is um by the way the other thing is that with somebody already being under i show uh i show an example of uh self rezzing in destiny 1 and that's a way to get a around it but um until we have like a self res ability in d2 which i think they will never do because of trials uh yeah it's probably not gonna happen but that's just something to note that you can do this in both D1 and D2. And then finally, there's me, the person that's already under. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to move on to uh, watching some clips and why they're, why they're good or why they're not. All right. All right, that's going to be it for the video. Um, it's a quicker one today, but uh, yeah, so spare bonking is a very good technique. Um, I personally think that it's great but yeah I'm sure that it's very niche but I mean if there was hope for uh, Froggy's stasis crouch jumping there's a there's a hope for sparrow bonking although I didn't come up with this one anyways uh, yeah thank you for watching once again thank you so much for 300 subscribers and uh, yeah pretend there's a cool outro